dog. Uh, how's, how's it going? How's it going? Well, I mean, um, Joe Dents, you know, the oncologist, said I'd had all the chemo they had to offer. Mm -hmm. um, and as in actual fact, there was nothing really more that can be done. Okay. Uh, it came as a great blow, actually. Mm. So when did you find that out? That was last week. Okay. Um, I mean, I knew it was coming because I haven't been getting better. And yeah. All the scams that have come back showing me that things are getting worse. You know what your body's telling you. Yeah. It's still not a nice thing to hear, though, is it? I mean, I imagine it was still took it out of you last week. Then. Yeah, it's fairly yeah. shattering, isn't it? It's yeah. you know here I am, forty-seven, and mm. yeah. I didn't expect this. Okay. So, did she explain what the plan is from moving forward then? Is there is there a plan about... She was saying that you'd work uh, with herself, uh, you know, giving me tablets and things like that. Yeah. To keep me comfortable. Yeah. So that I, whatever time I've got left, it's quality, you know, I can do the things I want to do. Yeah. Certainly, it's been nice seeing my ex-wife and the kids. And yeah, yeah, good. And have you got any plans about the things that you, you want to do? Just you... spend time with the family, really. Yeah. I mean, who knows how long I've got, but yeah. you know, I want to keep fit as best I can, just to try and make, you know, last as long as I can. Yeah, okay. Um, and I know that she mentioned things about keeping you comfortable and Mm. Managing your symptoms. What symptoms are you getting at the minute? How 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 are you managing at the minute? Well, I'm not doing too badly. I mean that nice Macmillan lady. What she's called Helen. Um, she's given me these painkillers. Yeah. Um, so they have stopped me getting bunged up. Yeah. Um, uh, and other from that, I'm not doing too badly really. Okay. I mean, obviously, I've lost a lot of weight. And yeah. Yeah. She gave me those frizzy, 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 frizzy bin drinks. Oh yeah, yeah, the drink. What do you think of those? Well, I guess they're doing the job. I try and eat as much as I can, but yeah. um, some yeah. people don't find them particularly palatable. But no, um, but okay. yeah, it, it, if it helps, then it's worth worth doing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, and it, are you finding that you have en the energy to do the things that you're wanting to do? Or? Well, I have to have an afternoon sleep, but. You know, at least I can spend some time with the family in the morning and have an afternoon bit and then in the evening we'll tell you together. Yeah. Okay. So it sounds like things are fairly steady with regard to your pain and, and, and how you're doing at the minute. Yeah. 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 Okay, good. And it's nice to have that chemo after the way because, to yeah. be honest, it's disgusting. It's yeah. Right. Okay. And it sounds like the family are rallying around and you've got plenty of support. They've been absolute well. stars. Good. Absolute stars. Good. Yeah. What we can hope for better. Okay. Well, now that the focus has kind of sh has shifted slightly, then away okay. from things like chemotherapy and yeah. the more intensive treatments, yeah. we need a bit of a plan, really, about what we do now. Okay. Um. So, it, it's right what Doctor Dent said that um we do tend to focus more on how you're feeling. Right your comfort and your quality of life. Yeah, yeah. Um, now that we're not trying to actively extend your extend your life yeah. with things like chemotherapy. Yeah, and things. yeah. So we need to really have a think about what's going to make your life easier and more comfortable. Um, and one of the ways that we do that is often we um, have a little bit of a plan in place for the future for okay. when things do change, if they change, yeah. um, where you if you do get more pain if you do find that you need a little bit more support at home, things like that. Okay. Okay? Yeah, yeah. So we often um, do need to have a few conversations about the future. Mm. Um, and I know that you've only just had this discussion with Dr. Dent. And it's yes. all fairly fresh at the minute. Yeah. But do you mind if we have a bit of a chat today about that? No, no, yeah. no. I mean. Okay. Okay. So often with, with patients with similar illnesses to yourself, with with cancers and things that we know um, we're not we're no longer trying to um, intensively treat their cancers yeah we think about 
what happens towards the end, as things take their course and as natural events occur. And one of the things we often do is highlight your treatment and who is at home with you and what sort of things that you're on at the minute yeah. to the out of hours service, to the out of hours GPs. Yeah and give you a phone number to ring. So that if you do have any problems, you directly get through to them without having to sit um, waiting for callbacks and things like that. Well, that makes a lot of sense, yeah. doesn't it? Because that, that one one service, you can be around for bloody hours, yeah. can't you? So this way you get a direct route through and they already know a little bit about you. Um, know what medication you've got at home. Yeah. Know which district nurses will normally know about you. You know, things like that. So that'd be, I think that'd be really sensible. So you'd be happy with me filling all oh, that yeah. in on your behalf? Absolutely. And then another conversation that we often need to have is about what happens when we're a little bit closer to um, the end of your life. Right. Um, and I know that it's difficult to talk about, mm. but a number of patients and a number of people in similar situations, yeah. um, when we start talking about what happens when things, when your body does get a little bit weaker and your heart does eventually stop. Yes. Um, a lot of people feel that actually they wouldn't particularly want us to be doing any heroics to try and restart it. Okay. Um, now, I don't know what your personal feelings are about this, but we do know that people with serious illnesses like cancer, that actually trying to do that and trying to restart your heart, heart once it's naturally stopped is a very difficult thing to do. Okay. And often people find that it's quite an undignified experience when we do that. No, I mean, I wouldn't want my family to, because, yeah. you know, what's the point of having something that's not going to work? Yeah. I'd much rather, yeah. you know, when I'm going to go, I'd rather go in my own bed with the yeah. family around me yeah. and just, you know, yeah, yeah, it would just be stupid. And that's why we have this conversation now, while we're able to mm. have it, because if things do progress and you do get weak, you might not be able to tell us when it comes to that time. Yeah. Um, we wouldn't want to go against any of your wishes in any way. Okay. That doesn't mean that we won't treat you. Right. So if you get chest infections, if you're unwell and, and uh, your pain's worse, so you'll be off with all treatment for that. It's just if th we're coming towards the end and your heart were to stop, whether or not we would be doing any form of resuscitation to try and get it working again. No, I wouldn't want that. Okay. Okay. So I'll fill out some paperwork to that effect. Yeah. to that effect saying that we've discussed this and that's yeah. your issue yeah. and I'll also make sure that those out of hours GPs are aware of that as well okay. so that the paramedic service are aware of that if anything were to happen okay. and were to get called okay. Okay. Um, so now that we've got that bit of paperwork out of the way I think I'll go to the plan about how often we touch base and how, how you let me know if you are needing anything and what other support is available uh, um, well I'll um, to be honest, I'm doing alright at the moment, so if I just perhaps probably back in a week or two's time, would that be alright? And you've got the Macmillan team's number as well, haven't you? And um, you know how to get a hold of us. And if I make sure that you've got this number for out of hours as well, so yeah. if there's um, any problems and you do, uh, out of normal working yes. hours, you do need to speak to anybody, I will do. What I might also do is just at some point ask the district nurses to introduce themselves to you, because I know yes. that you've not needed their support so yeah. far. But just so that you've met them and you've had a chat for if you do need them in the future, do you need to call them out? Certainly Does makes that sense, sound like doesn't it? Okay. Okay, okay. okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> Thanks very okay. much.